Hi there, today I'm unboxing a Wi-Fi smart wall switch. So this particular wall switch is by a company called NRJ. Works with the Alexa and Google Home. Let's have a quick look around the packaging. Quite simple packaging, nothing too fancy. Indication there, it's a one gang switch. Basic details about it, made in China. QR code there for their app. So NRJ Smart. You can get it off the Google Play Store or the Apple Store. Okay, let's have a look at the actual product itself. Okay, first of all, the instructions. So all in English, which is great. Okay, one of the things to be aware about these types of products is looking at the wiring instructions you do need a neutral cable so if you're in the new UK generally you don't have a neutral cable running down some properties do some don't so you would have to have that sort of amended in your property okay so got some mounting screws there and the actual product itself so a nice glass finish on there just to show a bit of chunky glass there. Actual connectors on there. So you've got the actual switching there. So you'd probably have two cables coming down. So a single cable with two cables within it and they'd be connecting there. And this one would be for your actual neutral connection. So quality wise, it feels quite good, quite solid and very robust. Let me show you the sizing on that if I can. So thickness wise, we're talking, let me put it this way so you can see yourselves, about two and a half centimeters if I just look there. So obviously you've got to be aware that you've got to have enough space behind your light switch to install this and you've got a slight bit to pop it off just there. So let me show how to install this and then we can show how to configure it afterward as well. Okay, just to show an existing lighting circuit. So here we have your cable going from one light switch to the next and in between there you have your junction. So this could be going into a ceiling rose, for example, or just a junction box. And this is how it gets connected up. So if you imagine your light or lamp holder is in this position and connection wise, you've got your switch over here. And as you press the button on the switch, it closes this circuit and just provides the live connection to your light. So what we need to do is obviously get this Wi-Fi light switch wired into this sort of environment. So this is how you do it. So obviously you've got a live cable. You wanna send that to your live connection on your junction. And then your neutral goes to the neutral connection on the junction. And then your L1 or your switching one actually goes to this position. So this is where you're going to provide the connection for the live. So obviously neutral and live are used because you need to keep the actual switch on continuously to be able to actually receive a signal. Hence why you need both those connections there. So hopefully this should give you an indication how it should be wired. Generally in the UK you don't have a neutral connection. Just to know, I've mentioned this a few times already, but it's really important because if you try doing this yourself and you don't have the neutral connection, it's quite a hassle because you've got to actually replace the cable or call an electrician in to do this. So just be aware of this. Okay, so we're at our light switch. I've got my neutral wire here. I've got my live here and the switch one here. So Looking at the actual back of the switch, what I'm going to do, I'm going to wire the neutral in there, the live in there, and the switch one in there.
So let me do that in the background and I'll show you the next stage. Okay, as I showed, I've now connected the wires up to the switch and I've powered on and I can see the actual circle on there flashing. So let me focus a little bit at this angle so I can just show. If I touch, there you go, it turns on, turns off. Quite cool. Nice finish on there, glass finish. Let me turn back now. And let's actually install the app and get it working with that. So, simple for this one. So if I go to the Play Store, type in NJ Smart, it's that app there, NJ Smart. I've already installed it. So let me open it up. So let me place it right here so you can see. So next, if I go to Plus, we select wall switch now it is blinking that's a good sign so i'm going to click that off camera because it's going to display my wi-fi password so if i do that at the side and confirm my password come back again and now it should attempt to connect okay if you can see it stopped flashing turned off now so that's usually a good sign that means it's connecting there you go it's added it's appearing as switch panel so if I click done now let me reposition the camera slightly so you can see it turning on there you go you can just see the light turning on in the corner it comes on over there turns off Turns on really good. Now let me turn off my Wi Fi. Give it a second. Okay, data's on now. 4G, if you can see. If I click on it, you can see it's on. It shows a green light, and I can turn it off. So great. Without opening any ports on my router, it's working. Sort of cloud based login on there, so that's really good. You can rename it as well if you wanted. So if I click on just there, I can rename it to another name if I wanted. Uh, looking at the options there, you've got a timer. So you can have it turning on at a certain time on certain days. And then you can have it either turning on or off. So you could have a timer when you're away from home, just coming on and off. And if you wanted to make it more random, you can specify different days to have it turning on at different times. Okay, so the next thing to show is the actual switch setting it up on Amazon Alexa. So, I've gone to the actual skills and I've enabled the skill for NJ Smart. So if I go back and just off camera, I'll just show the smart items I've got in the home. So if I scroll down, switch panel that's what it's appeared as so now let me adjust the camera so you can see the light as well so i can just say alexa turn on switch panel okay alexa turn off switch panel okay okay it doesn't have to be called switch panel you can rename it. So if I just say, where is it? Edit there. Just say kitchen. Light. There is another one in there called kitchen light. Let's see how it deals with this. Alexa, turn on kitchen light. No issues with that. So, okay, Alexa, or just Alexa, uh, turn off kitchen light. Okay. Easy, very simple to configure, so that's quite good. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna show you is how it's been set up for the Google Home. So, in the Home app, I've actually, under Smart Life, 
added it in. So quite easy to configure, obviously plus there on the home control, find Smart Life and pair up your account with it. So if I now go back, let me move my phone away and I can just say, okay Google, turn on kitchen light. Okay, turning on the switch panel. And it's called switch panel, that's why you're hearing it as that. You can rename it. Okay Google, turn off kitchen light. Okay, turning off the switch panel. And there you go. Easy to configure. Looks great, nice glass finish on there as well. But the main thing to be aware of with this is the neutral wire. Easy to configure with both Google Home and the Amazon Alexa. Works really well with them both. And again, if you're not sure how to wire this up, best to get an electrician in. I know it can get quite confusing when you see the wires behind there and you're not sure what's there. More than likely, if you're in the UK, you'd probably have to get a neutral wire run somehow. So there you go. Hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this and installing it. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like and subscribe.